Wow, so... Uh, this episode was sponsored by One Piece. And that's honestly the most interesting thing about it. Not... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This episode is definitely the weakest of the season for me. There was so much you could do with this episode, and yet it felt like it didn't do enough, in my opinion. Don't believe me? Let's get into it. Starting off with the genre's analysis, I actually really like it. The editing is, once again, back to phenomenal, with some images leaping off the panels to give it that motion comic look that I adore so very much. The joke where Boomstick kept mispronouncing Mr. Mixie's name before just giving up and referring to Mixie as just him, that did get a chuckle out of me, and I'll admit it, the cutaway gag wasn't too bad either. It is another slapstick gag with Boomstick lighting his hand on fire while screaming, I'LL BE A LIVING GOD! Which, I'll admit is a little funny to me, I don't, I don't, maybe my humor's just trash, I don't know. <laughs> But what really makes me laugh is the fact that Boomstick got set on fire with a lighter. Because it implies that he has so much alcohol in his system that he has actually become flammable. That is hilarious. I also really like how John's analysis- John. It's John! I keep ha- I, I- I- I hate it when people say John instead of Jean. And I just said it there and now I hate myself. Anyway. I also like how Jean's analysis ended. It was very heartfelt, and I love how it ended on a clip from Justice League Unlimited. AKA, the series with the best iteration of Jean ever. Yeah, I said it, fucking fight me. <laughs> Server's analysis is also pretty good. Again, the editing, it's phenomenal. In fact, I actually, I actually think it's better than the editing in Jean's analysis. It goes that hard. On top of the editing being a million times better here, I also think that the cutaway is a million times better as well. Boomstick going full surfer bro is hilarious, and the fact that Chad makes him sound like a surfer whilst also still acting as Boomstick is the cherry on top of the whole joke. 10 out of 10 comedy right there. And despite the surfer having the most boring power set this side of the Andromeda Galaxy, I actually like his rundown. They talk about his character and... I actually prefer that because his character is very interesting to me. It makes him it makes me like him a lot more in spite of his I have the power to have all powers power. I still like Jean's analysis more, but that's just cuz I like Jean more as a character. <laughs> okay, moving on to the fight. I honestly think it's pretty disappointing as a whole, not gonna lie, Wiz. I still like it. But it's not that interesting, and you'll see why. The visuals to the setup are really cool. I love the film noir style it goes for in Jean's detective office. And I love how this is continued outside by giving us a little title card when Surfer leaves on his board. It's the little details like that that I like. The sprites also look really good in my opinion. Both Jean as Jean Robert Oppenheimer. See what I did there? Pretty clever, huh? and his Martian form look really cool. Surfer Sprite also looks really good. He has a lot of muscle definition, which is a design that I really like for the character. And while I do like his transformation from Norn to Surfer, I gotta admit it does look a bit jarring since the silver skin and the regular skin are the same shade of gray, so it looks like Surfer is just stripping to begin the, his fight with Jean. That's just funny to me. Jean going from Oppenheimer to Martian looks cool, I love the effect there, but I do wish it was more of a morph transformation instead of a Windows Movie Maker screen transition, because that's not really how Jean shapeshifts. Also, his hands are not in the same position, and it is very noticeable. Speaking of noticeable, I feel like I'm going crazy, but I swear to the Lord, Jean's mouth movements do not match up with his dialogue. It just looks so off in my opinion. I'm also now realizing that this opening makes no real sense. Surfer goes to Manhunter, I'm assuming because he realizes that him and Jean are just puppets in a game, and then when Jean tries to read his mind, he denies access. Then why did you come here, Chrome Dome? What was the point if you weren't going to tell Jean anything until the end? Were you just feeling murder happy today? Look, 
cool aesthetics, but the setup itself doesn't make it makes no goddamn sense. Anyway, Jean chases down Surfer, who for some reason decides not to face through the asteroid, despite the fact that he can. You're a moron. And Jean traps the Surfer in a bunch of rocks before Surfer finally remembers, oh hey, I can do that too, and phases out of the rock cluster. We get a cute little Asteroids reference with the Surfer trying to blast Manhunter while Jean shows off his sick arcade and dodging skills. Piccolo would be so proud if he were here. We then get a nice POV shot from the Surfer's view as he then sees that Manhunter has pulled a reverse Ben vs. Hal. This time with the uber powerful Cosmic Naked Dude surrounded by a bunch of clones from a green guy from DC. It literally can't be any clearer than that. The Manhunters try to invade Surfer's mind, but he's all like, Bitch, I ain't having that, and grabs the real Jean. But then, Jean lasers him in the face with a psionic blast and breaks his board. Then he turns into a goddamn dragon! Which looks so goddamn awesome! And despite losing his board, the Surfer just wills it back into reality. Oh, there goes gravity. We get another chase, this time with Martian Mandragon chasing the Surfer and smacking him with his tail. Surfer then does... Whatever the fuck this is. I don't think it's molecular manipulation because Jean has resistance to that, I think. Well, whatever it is, Surfer does it to Jean and he reverts back to his Martian form. We then get this perfect rotating shot of the Surfer yeeting Jean into the sun. That's right. I made another Party Crashers joke. Fear me, for I am the ultimate Party Crashers fan! <clears throat> anyway, Jean says, nuh uh, to Surfer's attempt to boil him alive, and we get the best part of the episode, in my opinion. The two gods are standing there in the middle of the sun. Manhunter tells the Surfer that nothing can best Martian might, and the Surfer compliments the Martian's will and determination, but he warns him that will is not enough. The Surfer uses the power cosmic on the Martian, but the Martian resists the pain long enough to read the Surfer's mind, as he reveals that they both possess the same knowledge, and that only one of them can survive. Jean then willingly submits as the Surfer finishes him off, but before he dies, Jean calls out to his wife as the Surfer blows up the sun, ending the animation. Okay, so I have to bring up one negative. Um, it just kind of ends. Like, it just jump cuts to the end screen with no warning. Like, after the explosion, it just cuts to Silver Surfer kneeling, and then the end. There's no fade into white, and then fade back to the end screen. So that's kind of lame. But outside of that, this ending is awesome. Not only is the music so orchestral and grand it, that it makes it feel like a big thing, but the hand-drawn bit with Jean dying looks really good as well. The voice acting in this is also amazing, and the level of meta it gets is honestly really cool. Usually when Death Battle gets meta, it often includes a fourth wall-breaking character. Maybe two if you're lucky. But this is on a whole other level, and I really like it. So why do I say that this episode is the weakest of the season so far? Simple. It didn't really do enough with the Surfer, in my opinion. Now, I know that makes me seem like an entitled prick, but hear me out. I've made it no secret that I'm not a big fan of Silver Surfer's power set. I like his character, but his power set is one that I could skip entirely. But with that being said, I wish they did more with it in this episode. Unlike Wanda vs. Zatanna or Trunks vs. Silver, there wasn't any reality warping or space-time manipulation or anything of that caliber. All the Surfer does is fly around on his board, phase through objects, fire lasers, do whatever this is, and uses his cosmic insight near the end. That's it. No changing the laws of reality, no messing with time, nothing. At least with Strange vs. Fate, the Doctors got to travel to other dimensions. Here, they're just still in the same area from start to finish. It's kind of disappointing. Even Ben 10 vs. Green Lantern, for as flawed as that animation is near the end, 
still managed to do things like time manipulation and duplication. And yes, I know Martian Manhunter got to do duplication, but Silver Surfer didn't get to do anything really. And honestly, the fact that there wasn't any crazy reality warping stuff is very disappointing, and I don't say that lightly. And it isn't helped out by the length of the episode either. The entire episode is about 23 minutes long, and the animation is only around 3 minutes long. That is just as long as Omnilander, but Omnilander still had really good character moments and a phenomenal opening, while this episode doesn't have that much to make it stand out. Which is really sad, because again, I, I do like this episode, it's just not really that interesting. The post-analysis is also just kind of there for me. Nothing too interesting. But yeah, that that's about it for the post-analysis. Uh, okay, let's talk positive now. The track! Not my thing, but... I do like the, the whole sci-fi Twilight Zone vibe that Mind Over Matter goes for. I think it really works with the episode, being a whole, like, cosmic sci-fi kind of thing. I, 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 it, it's cool. I like it. The voice acting is also really good. Cameron Nicod does a really good voice of uh, Jean. He kind of reminds me of Phil Lamar in Justice League Unlimited, and I like that because that is my favorite voice for Jean, specifically. And, uh, Paul Guyot. I almost said Paul Gott. I'm very sorry. Uh, Paul Guyot does great at Silver Surfer. He really nails the, like, kind of stoic, righteous dude, in my opinion. Um, well, why did I say righteous dude? Boomstick is getting to me. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was Martian Manhunter vs. Silver Surfer. I enjoyed it. I, I did, and I do see myself returning to it sometimes when I'm bored. But outside of that, uh, it's just pretty average, which is really sad because I like Jean and I like the surfer when he's not freaking Alien X, but people still misconception him as being the most powerful things in sliced bread. Um, yeah, sorry Martian surfer, but overall I gotta give this a 7 out of 10. Originally I gave it a 6 but I felt that was a bit too harsh, and it was sin it was still enjoyable, but for me, it's a 7, It's and it's a very low 7. It's, 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 it's not like a high 7 where it's like bordering on an 8, but it's a 7. As for the next time... Okay, look, I know everyone is hyped for this episode, myself included, but I really want this waiting period to go by quickly. I won't be looking forward to the debating because it will be toxic as fuck. But this episode is gonna be fire and it's the, it's the quintessential Sophist TV episode. That's right, two party crashes jokes in one video. I'm on fire today, man. <laughs> Uh, anyway, what did you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and while you're at it, hit that like button, as well as subscribe, as well as the subscribe button. I messed up my outro there, but I'm not gonna redo it, because I'm lazy. Um, and ring the bell if you want to see more of my videos. Follow me on my socials in the description, and check out Lucara Boy's review, if he makes one, that is, since he wants to focus on his Spider-Man PS4 video. Go check that out too, by the way. Also, go watch our reaction to the episode. Both of those will be in the description below. Anyway, uh, that in mind, I'll see you later, Cap Nation. Bye bye <laughs>